Africa report on internal displacement 2016 states that Nigeria accounts for 30% of IDPs and refugees in Africa. And according to NEMA, Nigerian refugees in Cameroon are 80,709. In Niger, 68,321. And Chad, 20,804. Most of these are returning home in droves. The displacement tracking matrix released in January 2017 indicates that 1,899,830 Nigerians still remain displaced in the Northeast. Despite drop in hostilities, which has resulted in huge outflow of these IDPs from the camps back to their original communities. Many of the IDPs are not resident in the camps, but have gone to live with friends, relations, or simply men of goodwill who are willing to accommodate them. Sometimes, they stay in facilities like schools within those communities. This stretches the provisions of these host families and host communities very seriously. There are many camps and host communities in the Northeast, with the highest numbers in Bornu, Yobe, and Adamawa states, each bursting with people whose basic physiological needs have to be met, especially the food they eat, their health and their shelter. Most camps and host communities do not have adequate rooming and toilet facilities to cater for the unprecedented numbers they have. The daily bill of such camps is staggering to even government, which is already struggling to fund other budgetary items. This is why it has become necessary for well-meaning Nigerians to play a part in helping those in the IDP camps. Wife of the President, Her Excellency Mrs. Aisha Buhari is fully aware of the challenges faced by the IDP. As a mother, she is concerned with their condition and that is why through her project, Future Ashore. She has made a lot of interventions to make a difference in their lives. Her Excellency Mrs. Aisha Muhammad Buhari, for people that know her before now, before becoming the wife of the president, is somebody who is very passionate in helping people ordinarily and uh, at her own level. And uh, coming to a situation whereby after becoming the wife of the President to meet a station that is actually um, consuming our society and consuming um, the poor and vulnerable people, particularly women and children, which is actually her main areas of focus in terms of helping people, in terms of uh, giving humanitarian support, uh, particularly in the northeastern part of the country. Uh, Her Excellency decided to focus her attention there, mainly to help the women and children who are victims of insurgency, where the magnitude of the and the impact of what are the damages made by the insurgents. She has made donations of enriched food formulas to expecting mothers and babies. She has provided them with mats blankets and clothing. She has provided sanitary pads to young adults, mama kits, baby sets including bathtubs, potties, soaps, creams and even cash. At present uh, it is estimated that uh, there are 1.8 million uh, internally displaced uh, persons in the northeastern part of Nigeria and uh, a significant proportion of this uh, women and children who undeniably are the most vulnerable 
cohort of uh, any society. Although government and humanitarian actors are doing quite a lot in terms of addressing the challenges uh, of these internally displaced uh, populations, but Her Excellency, the wife of the President, uh, Mrs. Aisha Muhammad Buhari, deems it appropriate and necessary to complement the efforts of uh, government and these humanitarian actors. Uh, this is in view of uh, uh, the growing need of assistance by these uh, underprivileged and vulnerable groups. Get involved is to get every human being, every well-being Nigeria, to get involved in supporting and also eradicating malnutrition among children generally, particularly in the IDP camps. So the, it was a one week, whole week event whereby uh, messages in the media, public advertisement and announcement were made to mobilize people to want to sensitize them, to create awareness of what is the aim of getting involved and secondly to sensitize them towards the rate of malnutrition in Nigeria and in fact I say thirdly for them to think about what they can do at their own level no matter how little they can contribute towards this initiative. malnutrition for years and you will wonder why we have not done much about it. Um, in fact, it is worse in Northwest than Northeast. Uh, the only thing that has happened is that the acute cases are now more in Northeast because of the insurgency and so on. And for us as a nation, we, we must rise up to this challenge, get involved with advocacy, educating the people on what to eat and what not to eat, and also addressing the root causes of malnutrition. Everybody knows she has a passion for the downtrodden women and children. This is why she has initiated this Get Involved program so that all individuals, well-meaning Nigerians, will get involved to save the lives of children and women in Nigeria. Being involved means that you buy whatever it is that has been displayed and then it's passed over to um, Her Excellency and then she gets it to the IDPs. And also, one of the things we also discovered today was that it's not only for IDPs, but for malnourished children around Nigeria. And I think that's fantastic. I think that's really good. Malnourishment is really a problem. You know, they, they say 2.5 million children are malnourished. And of that, 500,000 might die this year if we don't do something about it. And a lot of times we look to one person, maybe the governor or, you know, an artist or an athlete to try and save an entire group of people. Well, in, in fact, Something like this where everybody can get involved is the kind of thing that we should be looking for where it doesn't need to you know, be one person all the time. Everybody can contribute no matter how small it is. Nothing is too small. If it's a thousand hour, whatever you have. Um, but we can all kind of put our hands to the plow and do better for our kids. And so I think it's a fantastic thing and I'm happy to be here to lend some support. We love this humanitarian service. Despite the diverse culture and um, tradition, we still choose to unite together as one. To be honest, I really congratulate the First Lady. She has really, really worked so hard for this to come true.
Her Excellency Mrs. Aisha Buhari had to inaugurate a committee to receive and handle the distribution of these relief materials to those in the camps. She set up the committee in order to ensure that the items donated by corporate bodies, individuals, friends and her associates get to the right uh, beneficiaries. She put up a 12-man committee under the chairpersonship of the wife of the Borno State Governor, Her Excellency Ajanana Kashim Shetima. More importantly, these distributions draw more attention to the plight of these vulnerable Nigerians so that others could borrow relief and provide support. Anytime we need to make distributions, we print distribution coupons. So a day or two before we go to any center, either the camp or at the local government level, we involve all the stakeholders to go word by word and bring the vulnerable women, the children, the elderly IDPs so that each ward is benefited. We've covered practically every area that was affected by the insurgency in Borno State. Before they returned, and now that they have returned. So honestly, without um, exaggerating, I know we have touched at least 100,000 uh, lives. And believe it or not, the way we distribute, we don't go through any channel. Members of the committee, with some co-opted volunteers, go and stand. We stand on queue. We arrange these items one after the other. Even if it is 2,000 people we are given that deal, we make sure that we arrange these items for each household or for each individual. So it's a very transparent and um, uh, accountable way of distribution. Today we are here under an atmosphere of peace and tranquility and this is the situation that is prevailing in most parts of our state. Yes. We want to thank our mother, Hajia Aisha Buhari. She has shown love and affection to our state. We are mightily proud of her. We are eternally indebted to her. And inshallah in the fullness of time when the history of this epoch is going to be written, inshallah her name will be written in God. I'm here today to flag off the distribution of the food items donated by well meaning Nigerians from south to north to east to west. I thank all Nigerians 
Thank you very much and God bless you. Her Excellency had contributed a lot of food materials to Borno women and children and today is not exceptional. Today you can see we have a lot of food items. This gesture that we have seen today is a tremendous one and our people, our women, our children will going to benefit tremendously with these food items and other necessary uh, uh, things that she did contributed to us. The impact has been very wide. In fact, uh, almost every local government has benefited and the fact that after it was launched in Abuja the first place where it was sent is Borno. This is a great honor for the people of Borno. And now that they are going back to their um, different homes we also ensure that wherever we visited we make sure that these items are Judiciously distributed. And well-meaning Nigeria or good thinking Nigeria or humanitarian in Nigeria will know that she has done something that deeply touched the lives of the parents of the slain Bunyadi boys as well as the abducted Chipo girls. My decision to represent this book now is to contribute uh, through my personal efforts to support the victims of insurgency, particularly uh, women and children. I'm dedicating this event and the proceeds from the sales of this book to be used to empower the mothers of the Chibok girls, the Ebunyadi boys, as well as support the malnourished children in the IDPs. When our gallant soldiers conquered the insurgency, it became apparent that these IDPs have to be encouraged to return to their homes. It is clear that not all of these displaced Nigerians will return home because some do not have homes to return to. Some philanthropists are therefore providing housing and schools to cater for them. Mrs. Buhari is at the forefront of this effort as she has commenced construction work on an orphanage and school to provide education and a home to some of the orphans in the IDP camps. The building of the orphanage center, school, skill acquisition center for our, for our women and children is a very good initiative and it has never been done in the state. So we give thanks to our mother, our excellency, because we, we really appreciate her effort. And the Almighty Allah continue to bless them. The 
magnitude of the humanitarian crisis in the Northeast region has led Mrs. Buhari to expand the dragnet of support beyond the shores of Nigeria. She has secured the support of wives of the presidents of the West African countries to provide strategic assistance to refugees of the insurgency in countries that have been directly affected, especially those on the Lake Chad Basin. These are Nigeria, Niger, Chad and Cameroon. The process will soon be formalized with a meeting in Abuja in the coming months. The displacement matrix had indicated that 1,099,509 have been confirmed to have returned to their home. Aside the trauma these people have gone through, in many cases, they have also lost their homes. So returning means rebuilding broken homes and broken lives. It's a hard process, especially for people who now have nothing. There's a lot of work going on in these communities. That is why government's effort at reconstruction in these areas has to be appreciated and supported by all Nigerians. Future is Short has contributed in some of the communities with building materials. It is hoped that these interventions, one, uh, would reduce uh, morbidity and mortality among this group, uh, meaning that uh, these interventions could actually uh, reduce death and disease among this population. And it is also hoped that uh, these interventions will uh, improve the living conditions of this uh, population. And uh, at the same time, uh, it is hoped that uh, the socio-economic lives of these people in general would also improve as a result of these interventions. It is gratifying to see the IDPs overcome their displacement and return home to their initial livelihood. These formidable Nigerians will overcome their scars and rebuild their lives thanks to the love and care they have received since leaving their homes.